All right, uh, let's talk about grades. All right, grades is going to be one of those things uh, that we do quite a bit differently than other classes that you've had and other ways they've worked in other places. So I want to do a, a quick intro into how we do it and why we do it. So how grades work in here. There are two things that contribute to your grades. There are research credits and there are unit projects. That's it. Uh, and then you have the final exam at the end. But for our purposes, day in, day out, you can get research credits and uh, you can finish unit projects. The only one of those two that actually impacts your overall grade so your A, B, C, D, F grade is going to be unit projects, all right? The research credits, we're going to collect research credits, and we're going to use those to be able to hand in our unit projects, and we're going to collect research credits to get out of doing parts of the final or maybe miss the final completely, all right? That's what research credits are. Research credits allow us to do the work that's going to get us the grade that we want in the class. Okay, so how do unit projects work well unit projects are pretty simple uh, every time you complete a unit at a 80 percent or higher clip so if you hand in your unit project and i say this is an 80 percent or better you uh you get to move on to the next unit you get those five points those five percentage points and you move up i'll show you this in a chart in just a second but why do i do it weird like this um, instead of just the way everybody else does it there's a couple of things the first one is i want to maximize your freedom in learning um the big tier two word for this is autonomy. But I want you to take ownership of your learning. I want you to figure out what you need to study and what you want to study and why and where you want to get rewarded and where you don't care about being rewarded. I want you to, to take ownership of this. I want, I want it to be your freedom in learning. You learn better when you have freedom in learning. That's just a reality. Uh, and so that's, that's what I'm hoping for, right? The second thing is... Uh, I want to reward actual learning. This is a big one. Um, a lot of times in the way we do assignments and the way we do homework and even tests sometimes, we're not really rewarding what you learn. We're rewarding that you did work. And that's okay. Like you're going to need to do some work and I'm going to ask you to do some work. But what I really want you to get the benefit of is learning. I want you to be rewarded for learning. When you learn something new, when you get excited about something, I want that to be the stuff that we're really grading and really paying attention to. Okay, so those are the whys I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to take a second and just explain how. All right. Um, I can't get rid of that piece from my screen, so uh, that's how it's going to go. I'll, I'll move it up here and make it easier. All right, so this is how grades are going to work. I'm just going to draw this out on the board for you, all right? Um, we're going to do something called checkpoints. What's going to happen is you start the semester with an 85 in my class automatically, all right? Um, we have unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, unit five, and then unit six up here, okay? Um, we also have projects, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's how this works. If you complete the project on time, then you've completed that unit. Okay, and once you do that, you're gonna get five points. So now your 85 is going to be a 90. Okay, so after unit one, if you've done what I've asked you to do, if you've completed the unit project and you've handed it in and it was better than an 80%, you have 90 points. All right, so you have a night, you have a B plus essentially in our class. And for those of you who are usually killing it with grades, you're used to hundreds and all that stuff. Just be patient, it'll even out, okay? But to start the semester, we all started 85, you bounce up to a 90, awesome. Okay, unit two comes along, and if you complete unit two on time, right, then you've completed unit two, and now we've got our next one, right? And now we're at 95. You can see where this is going, okay? You can afford to not do great on some of the unit projects. Not very many of them, but a couple, right? But what this does is if there's a unit you love, crush that unit. If there's a unit you're learning a ton from, great. I'm going to reward that, right? And this is going to keep going all the way up, right? Now, you say, well, Mr. Richards, what if I get here and I get to 100%, right? So I get to 100%. Then what happens? Well, 
you still have to stay at 100 percent right that's on that's on you right but if you if you fail that next unit now what happens is you drop back down right if you if you don't hand in your assignment now you're going to come the other way right and you lose those five points so you'll drop back down to a 95 which again isn't going to crush you because you can come back up to 100 but what you've done is you've eliminated the top peak that you can actually get to okay i know that's going to be confusing for some of you guys that's totally different but the point of this story and the thing you have to get right and the thing you have to understand from my class is you have to pass unit projects unit projects are the thing that is going to shape your grade because this is going to determine your letter grade not your research credits all right your research credits are going to determine if you can complete these right once you've accumulated enough research credits you can work on the unit projects and once you get the unit project in if you pass it you get those five points if you miss it you lose five points all right or if you don't hand something in if you hand in a unit project before it's due and it's not in 80 percent i will give it back to you and you can hand it in again you can correct it you can fix it and once you get it above an 80 percent you get those five points if you go past our due dates for our unit projects and then you get it into me you can still go up those five points right but once you miss a due date you lose five points so let me explain that point so let's say this due date is february 14th for unit one i don't think that's right that's approximate right but let's say you get to february 14th you don't hand it in okay then your 85 becomes an 80. all right but you can still get in your unit project and if you do you're going to be back up here to an 85. let's say you handed it in late you get up to an 85 okay and then next one you're right back on track you come up here and now you're up to 90 right you can control that the trick is staying on time at each of those steps on the unit project all right so i've given you some buffer here with an 85. if you miss the first one or two you can still survive the problem is if you get too far behind, you won't be able to catch back up. All right. There are no due dates on our research credits. There are due dates on our checkpoints. Okay. And I will give those to you as we give out the projects. So stay focused on this piece. You need to do well in these unit projects and they have to be on time. If you can get both of those things done, you will ace my class. No problem at all. There's no reason all of you can't graduate with 100% from my class. It's very simple. Just do the unit projects, get them in, piece of cake. The third unit, the third unit on here is going to be a test unit. So this one's going to be hard for you because you have to get an 80% to get those five points. But we've built up enough buffer. You're going to be fine. Plus, a lot of you will get 80%. So that'll work out great. All right. You can come back to this anytime if you want to remind yourself how is it that the grades actually work. They work like that. Research credits allow you to do unit projects. Unit projects are the only thing that change your letter grade in my class. You get them in, you pass them, you go up five, you don't hand them in or you don't pass them, you go down five. All right, piece of cake. All right.